blue sheep, dancers on cliffs, can even doze off on the precipice. Such a large flock of sheep will definitely attract snow leopards, their natural enemies. This is a kind of mysterious and rare animal that are often seen at places with elevations of over 4,000 meters. That's why it's called the King of Snow Mountain. George Schaller, a scientist dedicated to promoting the study and protection of snow leopards worldwide, is considered one of the most outstanding faunists at present. Oh, anything in a cave? This looks fresher than the, the other one. Dr. Schaller first discovered a nest where leopards took short breaks. and then found their hair in a cave on a higher mountain to leave behind their smells leopards deliberately rub their hair against rocks a rewarding day but dr schaller didn't stay longer as if avoiding disturbing a friend's secluded life In the views of Dr. Schaller, studying wild animals requires him to spend as much time as possible living in nature. Look what I have here. It's a little black caterpillar. When we drove from Yushu to Tsido, there were many of them on the road. This is what Dr. Schaller saw. Many cars suddenly stopped, and people went out to seek worms on the road. These are the larvae of a kind of moth. People carefully picked them up to avoid running them over. These little creatures were placed deep in the meadow. Here, herdsmen often spot snow leopards when grazing, and they can even tell where leopards' caves are. You could be right, but that's too much guessing. One, two, three. Although Dr. Schaller didn't come across a snow leopard, he was not disappointed. For him, studying these animals does not necessarily require meeting with them. His biggest dream is that these friends can live at ease.